In this video, I'm going to share with you a simple little blitzing concept that you can use. It's basically a passive pressure um, because you can actually mable out both of your coverages. This allows you to play really good defense in Madden 22. It's very good cover uh, cover three Mabel style uh, defense, but you're able to get some passive pressure. Now, like I said, it's passive pressure. It's not heavy pressure. If you want heavy pressure, there are other plays in the nickel triple defense that we break down in our defensive ebook that will break you. Will, will teach you how to do that. This is a simple passive pressure. You can do this out of any play, and I'm excited to break this down for you. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Uh, turn on those notifications. That way, you don't miss any of these important videos. But this is a nice little passive pressure that we could use and I kind of look at this as more of a coverage based defense but let's break this down and show you how this is going to work against the gun bunch meta so we're going to use the cover three sky now obviously you could use zone drops you can put your flats on 30 you can put your curl flats on five it's probably what I would do and double flat both sides out of this but again this is a very simple uh, simple passive pressure so uh, all we're going to do is come out and cover three sky and then what I like to do is I like to globally blitz my linebackers. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and show blitz, okay? Now, really important, from a defensive perspective, all you have to do is I like to go ahead and Mabel on this backside. Now, I'm going to take responsibility as a user for the left side of the field flat or anything over the middle uh, or any crossers okay so i do have some responsibility as a user but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop this guy right here jj watt into a flat zone or a curl flat depending on your mabel coverage so we're going to mabel out this bunch side and then we're going to have essentially a four-man rush we're going to use her this linebacker right here we're going to kind of pinch him in just a little bit and at the snap of the ball we're going to hold the left trigger and then just kind of lurk out and as you see here it creates double a gap pressure right through the middle now like i said it's really important that you hear me say this is passive pressure because it's going to force them to block somebody if they don't block anybody this blitz is going to be very consistent if they block people it's not going to be very consistent so again show blitz global blitz and then we're just going to drop the defensive end on the right side into a zone and pretty much there the blitz is set up and as you'll see you're going to kind of stand right here and just kind of tap and go that time we got picked up and as you see so the the the, the real trick of the subtlety of this is really your user uh in my opinion with this blitz you want to kind of sit like right here but you you want to get out of there quick you don't really have to, you don't really want to sit and kind of you, you're really just trying to manipulate this guard a little bit to create some time so that we can get this looper through so like right there there you go that's a little bit better and as you see you know you're going to get a quick shed you're going to get something but like i said you know it's a real real kind of finicky blitz and, and, and honestly if you mess around with it i'm sure you'll find some other additional ways to run this but i like to just left trigger i'm going to jab in to the right and then just move out so jab in move out and as you see um, that time the pressure didn't come in but you get this nice one-on-one -on, -one on the left side as well i like to put edge thread over there and uh, this is just a base rush like i said it's just a base four down lineman rush if you leave that defensive end on the back side blitzing you'll have a pretty good chance of getting pressure here you'll have this looper come through pretty consistently um but but again i like to go ahead and drop him because i want to have a, a an easy mabel concept on the bunch side and then again you know if you stand like right in here left trigger and then you see you're kind of trying to get the guard to you're kind of trying to get the guard to double team the center. That's really the goal uh, within this. Again, you can try different places, different positions in the stand as well. So you could stand kind of right in here, and then you see there the looper comes in. That time we got that little looping uh, B gap, A gap pressure type of thing. Now another way that you can run this, I want to give you two ways. Uh, that's the first way. The second way is definitely passive pressure because we're going to zone out both ends. So we're going to put Golden in a flat zone. We're going to put Watt in a flat zone. So this is really, uh, truly Mabel coverage at this point, right? And then what you want to do is we're actually going to use this guy. Now we have to make sure that we're leveraging our, you know, user over the middle of the field. There's some other coverages and things like that that we could do. Um, you know, for example, we could drop this guy on the left side into an inside third and then maybe do like a, you know, a, a, a purple zone or whatever, something like this to get the Mabel concept. But the bottom line is you're going to be using this guy. 
okay so now what you'll see is oftentimes as you see right there you see how you get that little slip and oftentimes that nose tackle as long as if you have a, a guy there that has um really good acceleration let me show you what's going on you're basically going to get a disengage a gap so you see here we get this little slip and that's exactly what we're looking for. We just need to get that pressure completely through the A-gap. And again, that's a more of a speed, more of a ratings thing. But again, just show blitz, global blitz your linebackers. Then just drop both of your guys on the ends uh, into coverage. So J.J. Watt goes into coverage. And then the defensive end on the left side goes into coverage. You can contain if you want to, but I like to just leave it like this. And then at the snap of the ball, you're just going to come down. And as you see, that little slip disengage, and you're going to get disengages and get quick sheds. If you don't get complete A-gap, you will oftentimes get these super fast sheds. And that's one of the reasons why nickel triple is so effective. You don't necessarily have to do anything to get pressure. The formation itself will shed, and that's what's so good about this defense. So if you want to get – this is, like I said, it's just a passive pressure. If you want to get – if you want to guarantee your pressure – then just don't um if you want to guarantee your pressure here then just global blitz your linebackers and you're going to stand right here with your user and oftentimes you're going to get that looping a gap okay that'll guarantee pressure you're going to get pressure if you do this okay the what i'm trying to show you share with you is a way that you could do this and still be able to mabel coverage i feel like mabel coverage is really important be able to do that against some of the trip sets so that's a way that you could do that but anyways guys if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive guide like i said there's a link in the description below uh, i'll tell you right now nickel triple is one of my favorite defenses there's so much that you can do with this defense it really is one of the better defenses is in the game and there's a ton of different types of blitzing concepts that will make this defense absolutely insane so if you want to learn the entire defense click that link in the description below it's on sale for just 15 dollars. once you click that link it takes you right over to the website where we'll get you all squared away thanks for your support and we'll see you guys later